Hello and welcome to the next experiment. As you can see, we're back in Germany. And while I was in Sweden, I had this idea of supplying the entire apartment from the inverter that's in the Turan. More so, you can see those solar panels up there. So I want them to keep producing. And if there's excess energy that we're not using, um, I want it to go into the Turan's battery. And otherwise, use it directly and in addition use some energy from the Turan. So we are going to put this in a couple of steps. The first step is what happens if we connect a grid tie inverter to the inverter in the Turan and we run it, will it feed energy into the battery or will it explode? The experiment has been done before with the 12 volt based inverters and they explode because they cannot transfer the energy back into the 12 volt circuit. This one so is directly connected to the high voltage and I do expect it to be bidirectional. Let's see. So I've set up the experiment here. We have the two runs inverter running as denoted by this little light here. It's powering that. Uh, we have a grid tie inverter it's upside down uh, that feeds into the same uh, circuit here. And we have a lab power supply that feeds the grid tie inverter. Let's switch it on and see what happens. Good, it's starting up. It's detected a grid. Yes, it's MPP tracking. So far nothing's exploded. Oh, it's faulted out. This could be down to the power supply. Uh, let's just crank it up a bit. So as of now we are allowing 50 volts and 3 amps into the inverter for a healthy 150 volts. Walk around a bit. Yes, the inverter is inverting. Nothing goes up in smoke. Let's crank up the power. We are now allowing um, 50 volt 5 amps. 250 watts. So way more than this light can accept. Definitely, because it's like 10 watts. Um, so in theory we should be feeding energy into the battery. Let's crank it up more. Okay, now we have sounds. Good, I think next, next step is to go look in the car and see the energy flow. Good, and this seems to be working. I mean the DC-DC converter is sucking away most of the energy. And my power supply tends to trip out, but we can see energy is actually flowing into the battery. And then there's some, I don't know, 200 watts are also going to the DC-DC converter, charging 12 volts and such. Yes, but we see the energy flow is reversible. Good. I had to wait a little bit because uh, the washing machine is still going. Turning kind of dark now, but I hope you can still see. I have now turned off the main breaker in the fuse cabinet and uh, now I will just check whether all three phases are, have no voltage. So we have access to all three phases via this outlet here. Let's check. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. Okay, that's good. Now, I made this little naughty adapter that turns the house from a source of electricity to a sink. It shorts all three phases together and routes them to this shoe power plug.
Okay, no strange noises. Let's go upstairs and check. Um, just to cross check, we are currently drawing between 180 and 370 watts from the battery. That's the maximum resolution. And uh, just an update on the procedure. Um, this econ button that usually belongs to the AC switches the inverter on and off. So we gotta keep the AC running to conduct this for now. Good, let's go upstairs and check. So as you can see the lights are on. Then we have here a three-phase load, which is our um, so-called hot plate. And yeah, that's working. Let's, let's turn on uh, the front one here. Yeah, turning red, so that's working. Um, gotta keep in mind that uh, we have like a three kilowatt power limit from the inverter, so we shouldn't uh, do too much. The harshest load will be this kettle because it's uh, 2.6 kilowatts. So if I turn this on, we might as well end up in the dark. Oh, little blip on the lights, but. We don't have a power cut. I guess kept it away. See what happens when we turn it off. And we blow our fuel on our bulbs. No, no blip is sign. Yes, so apart from that, bridge is running. All good. Internet router is running fiber um, modems running. Now the last step would have been to demonstrate how the car is uh, connected to the apartment and the solar panels outside are charging the car while feeding energy back. But um, as you might be able to see the weather is not quite allowing for that. It's been uh, very clouded over for the last two days and will be for the next couple of days so I decided to just uh, finish off this video for now and maybe up that test later. So. I hope you found that video somehow useful. Uh, do remember the Noti adapter cable I showed? Uh, don't repeat at home. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.